like, I'd like to say a pleasant evening to everybody and say that sometimes it takes something like this to bring us out that we rectify our shortcomings. We can't blame the one but ourselves because as we go around our community, there are things going on that we see and don't see. And we don't see because we, we see, don't see it because we don't want to see it. Week before last, we went into Baylor's Bay with the caravan. The caravan is of love, peace, and healing. Gotta thank Ms. Smith, Ms. Madeline, for inviting us out to this, uh, to this occasion, right? And knowing Rudy, Rudy was a cl very close friend of mine, and I'm glad that I'm a part of his healing, the family healing. As we was in Baylor's Bay, um, Dennis and ourselves um, was passing the word saying that it's going to take the community, not the government, not the police department, it's going to take all of us to pull this community together. And as we were saying what we were saying, there was a lady across the way that came down of our porch yep, yep, and she yep. asked us, has anyone told these young men to stop yep, the ignorance? Yep. I, I thought about it and then I said, no, nobody's, nobody's, well, the press has said that, somebody said that, somebody, but we're saying for tonight that in the, the microphone right here, we're telling these young men to stop their ignorance. We're telling these young men to stop their ignorance. Because what it's bringing about is all kinds of mess in our community. And tonight, uh, we hope that to bring about some healing to the Smith family. We thank you all for coming out, and soon Madeline and her, uh, the family from Rudy will be um, taking over the ceremony. Thank you very much. Thank you all for coming. Hey, before we go any further, let us, let's warm this up with a little bit of applause, right? And give yourselves a nice round of applause for being here. Come on, everybody give yourselves a nice round of applause for being here.